I sit here today in a Ferrari 488 GTB asking myself how on earth did I get to be in this position <laughs> well as you know you normally find me behind a, a machine polisher or a pot of polish and a few cloths detailing as I quote the world's finest cars um, and what a career it's been over 26th now 27th year quotes on some immensely important cars valuable cars supercars hypercars all sorts um, and also had the privilege of driving some of those cars with the tremendous thanks to some very generous customers um, but this is a little different in that I'm about to embark on what will undoubtedly be uh, one of the most memorable driving experience I'll have, experiences I'll have, I'll have ever had. Um, some of you may know I've uh, been quite closely related to uh, Evo magazine over the years. Um, I was very lucky to have been featured in issue 4 back in 1999 in their uh, early inside job articles which I have to say transformed my business, transformed my outlook and really put me in the right direction for the sort of work which I wanted to participate in. But since then there's been a lot of opportunities for me to continue that relationship with Evo and in fact give something back to them as a thanks for the, the foundation that they've allowed me to uh, to build a business on. Um, it, it's 1997 I think I met Richard Meaden at Silverstone where he was running a feature on an F50 that I'd worked on and that particular customer invited me to join him at Silverstone to make sure the car was pristine for the photographs. Um, I gave Richard a card, a business card, and uh, a number of months later he contacted me with the invitation of being featured in what was then a brand new magazine, Evo magazine. And why I'm here now, it appears that that relationship has developed in such a way that they feel I'm entrusted to be part of this year's Evo Car of the Year. Uh, and I cannot say that without a huge grin. Um, obviously I've read the magazines religiously every month since. and reading Evo Car of the Year is probably one of the most envious articles I've ever had the pleasure of reading each time it gets published and to receive a text message from Stuart Gallagher inviting me to come along on this year's Car of the Year as a trusted pair of hands and a safe driver and to hear those words from someone I've respected as a journalist and a driver for, for many years uh, is, um, is quite overwhelming. And initially, obviously, I thought, well, I could be there from a, a cleaning perspective, get all the cars pristine for the photo shoots and the video clips. But, um, but no, it appears not. Uh, I mean, I've, I'm going to take some cleaning gear up there because I'm sure I won't be able to resist. But no, my focus and my position in the week ahead is to be one of the drivers of the many sports and supercars that we're going to be testing up in Inverness, of all, of all places, the, the Scottish Highlands. Now, I've never been. Um, in fact, my driving experiences, if not on track, have all been 
fairly local. Never driven abroad. Um, I've done plenty of miles in, in scenic routes on motorbikes. I've done 20 years on, on sports and superbikes. Um, not now, hasten to add, but um, lots of experience on, on, on fast bikes, on nice roads, but not actually um, not actually a great deal of experience or had the pleasure of great mountain passes like I'm sure I'm going to experience next week up in the Scottish Highlands. So to add to that, I got asked if I would be willing to go to Ferrari Northern Europe at Slough and pick up a 488 GTB and drive to Inverness instead of jumping on a plane. Uh, and I can assure you there was no consideration needed to be made, it was an absolute yes.